Hello everybody. Video in a video. Um, I'll show you what we're doing here. Uh, we got, just pick this up. It's the Maddox Superior Automotive Tools Deluxe Paintless Dent Repair Kit. Part number MBD1. Uh, we're going to try it out. I am not a PDR guy. Um, I did try it a couple times before with the rods and not good at it. It's not. Um, I can get stuff out to where I can body work it. Uh, I'm going to try this and uh, I'll let you know I'll let you know if it's worth the hundred and a quarter from Harbor Freight. Uh, looks like a pretty decent kit. I'll show you what comes in it. Here we got the Maddox Superior Automotive Tools Deluxe Paintless Dent Repair Kit. Um, I marked on this the top because you know how some of these are. Open up the case. You got your knockdown tools. You got pointy one, semi blunt, blunt, blunter, blunterist. You got the little fella to, that goes in there like that and you can pull on it like that you got a rubber knockdown tool i'm assuming this is just a wedge for uh like getting down in here or whatnot i don't know didn't read the directions yet but we might do that you got your slide hammer you got a nice little tool i have its bigger brother here you got your you got that guy and you have an assortment of pulling tabs. You have all kinds. Big ones, little ones. Bigger ones. Biggerest ones. Medium ones. And you got a glue gun. Some uh, alcohol spray. I'm pretty sure that's what that is. Um, yeah, uh, I'll show you. We're going to try to fix this dent. And see see what we do um i was gonna go around this and just fill everything in block it all down and get it ready for paint but hey i bought the tool let's try to use it see what goes on okay this is a curved scraper number nine in the manual uh curved scraper um what uh we gotta do it says leave the glue gun warm up 10 to 15 minutes we're gonna choose a there. We're going to choose a tab, pulling tab, roughly the same size as a dent that we're pulling, which I'd say might be this one. Uh, maybe this one. We're going to we're going to look see what we got here. But uh actually it's a bit smaller than that actually. So we're going to need a small one. I thought it was bigger than that. Huh. Okay, we're gonna grab this one, little tiny mini mini. Uh, that one's the same size. We're gonna grab this one. Yeah, that one's the same size. Yeah. See, see what we got here. Yeah, that one's roughly about the same size. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not sure. I'm gonna go with the smaller one first. And um, it says clean the surface with this is a release agent. I always thought this was isopropyl alcohol, which it probably is. Actually, I hail. If you don't know what it is, give it a sniff. That's probably alcohol. Um, I could look up some uh, some videos on YouTube and uh, find that out for sure. But um, yeah, we're gonna. Place the hot glue on this little guy after we clean the surface with this uh, release agent. Then um, we're going to apply the glue to this. We're going to place it on the panel for 10 seconds. Then let it set up for two minutes. Then uh, there's a variety of ways you could tackle that. It says putting the puller on it. Uh, you can use the slide hammer. I'm going to try this. I'm really curious about this. Then uh, after that, to uh, remove the uh, tab, you spray some more release agent on it, then you use the scrapers. 
then obviously if you pull it too far, that's what these knockdown tools are for. But uh, let's get some glue put on this. Okay, hard to get a uh, actual good uh, angle of the dent, but um, I'm gonna add I'm gonna add a step to this, and it's gonna be I'm gonna polish this. Just a little bit of one step with a one step pad and a Adam Swirl Killer. This is one of the things I'm not afraid to spend money on a good quality product but i am afraid to spend money on a good quality product that i'm not sure if i'm going to be able to utilize the product Nothing too spectacular. Um, this is getting painted, but for uh, just for demonstration purposes, I want to make this nice and clean. Uh, almost all the uh, paint damage come off of that. Um, I would bet any money if I used a wool pad, I could get that out with compound. And got that got that polished doesn't look too bad um other than the bent um i think i got about another two minutes or so uh two to five minutes for the glue gun to warm up okay this is a release agent and looking at the camera i think um i might have to make that puller a little bit bigger it's probably going to be this one. This is the step up from... Let me get a little bit more light. Lighting is terrible. Oh, lighting is even worse. How about now? Nope. Opening the door again. Isn't that crazy? Okay, this is the um, pull tab I'm gonna use. Hello. Focus. This is the pull tab I'm gonna use. It's the, um, sort of the medium size round one. Gonna use it on that little guy. Like I said, they, they make they make different sizes. They make different sizes. Different shapes. They have square ones, round ones, oval ones, Daytona 500 ones. As per the instructions, I don't know if you spray this on the panel or on the rag, but on the rag you go, or on the panel you go. bit of release agent glue guns pretty warm oh yeah that comes right out of there okay okay uh. Wipe the excess glue off on my cardboard box that's there. Okay. What I'm going to do. If it focuses. I'm going to put. Onto the tab. Then directly onto the dent. And I'm going to hold it for 10, 10 seconds it says.
Okay. Which it's nice, the glue gun has a little stand. And Okay, as per instructions, insert glue stick into glue gun. Plug glue gun into grounded 120 volt outlet. Allow to warm up for 10 to 15 minutes before use. Note, do not use crafting glue sticks. Step two, use clean cloth, not included, clean dent area with release agent. Step three, choose pull tab the same size as the dent. Step four, Apply glue to pull tab, then quickly place the pull tab on center of dent and hold there for 10 seconds. Step five, wait two to three minutes for glue to set up before applying puller. Okay, so we got probably another minute, minute and a half that we're gonna wait to pull this. Uh, for you, it's not gonna be any time whatsoever unless I keep rambling. And I am using the this funky puller. Boop. Actually, I, I'm gonna zoom out a little bit. Don't get motion sickness. Boo. Yeah, I'm gonna use this funky puller. Instructions on this puller. It says, use on a small dent. Place lever puller on pull tab. Turn knob until both the puller's feet are flat against the vehicle surface. Step two, slowly squeeze the levers of the lever puller's handle until there is a pop and the dent is raised. Stop when the dent returns to normal. Surface level. Turn knob if necessary to increase pull. Step three, remove level puller. Step four, remove pull tab if necessary, spray release agent around the pull tab to soften the glue and use scraper to remove glue. Step five, clean area thoroughly to remove release agent residue. Alrighty, and we're about, I don't know, that feels pretty firm. So, okay, how this is made here, it has this little slot. You see the slot? That slides right onto that. Okay, and we adjust this, we spin this down. I thought we spun that down. Okay, I push that down, then I turn this until this comes here. Like I said, I'm, I'm learning. I'm learning with you. This kit was 125 bucks. Not too bad, in my opinion. Pull this till it gets some tension. Which I'm getting tension. Oh, nope, I didn't wait long enough. I'm gonna wait near as long enough. Gotta try that again. Bear with me, everybody. Like I said, this is my first time. We're gonna use the fancy curve scraper. Uh, a little bit of release agent. try this again but instead of showing you me putting the glue on here I don't know if you can see this or not I'm gonna try to do this a little bit faster put the glue on and hold it for 10 seconds then I'm gonna come back to the camera eight nine ten I'm going to come back to the camera at 11 minutes, 30 seconds. That's my recording time. But, uh, about three minutes into waiting for this uh, pull tab to set up again. So, yeah, 
do this. I'm gonna adjust this so it's, the feet are nice and flat. Yeah, eh, it's still a little, um, still not very strong. I don't know if it's something I'm doing wrong. I wonder if I have to spray the um, spray the pull tab with some release agent, maybe. Yeah. So I had almost the same results. Okay, I filmed this about a week ago. Uh, since then, I used it on the roof of a 2010 Hyundai Elantra, and it worked spot on um actually there's a couple dents that it pulled a little bit too far and i had to use the knockdown tools um the more i use the kit the more familiar i get with it the more that i like it and the more it becomes usable to me um my opinion well worth a hundred and a quarter um if you can use it i recommend getting one um but yeah, for some reason I could not get it to work on that dent on the on the quarter panel that HHR. Um, I also tried the hood of an Impala. There was a little dent, probably roughly about the size of a quarter. Um, I got a lot of it out. But yeah, um, well worth the money. Um, not gonna take every last dent out. But I hope this helped in aiding with the decision if you want to spend the kind of money on a Harbor Freight tool or not. Moving to a bigger tab. See if this makes a difference. I'm gonna try this bigger tab. Adjust this down a smidge. Slide it on there, adjust the back up. It definitely had more of a pop to it. I didn't put very much pressure on it though. Clean this glue off again, see what we have. Um, I'm gonna try it again with the uh, smaller one. Trying a couple different techniques here. Uh, the first one, I set it down and I try to level it a little bit, level it a little bit. The second one, I actually put a little bit of pressure. This one here, I'm going to let it float. Uh, for, for reference, this slide hammer, it feels pretty, um, sorry, earthquake. Yeah, this slide hammer feels pretty uh, comfortable in the hand. But let's give this a go. Yeah. I lost my pull tab. Oh, I think that might be the best that I might be getting at. Um, okay. I'm going to try this. Larger guy here? Nope. No, we're not because you can't see. Um, yeah, there we go. We're going to try this larger guy here. And, uh, see what we can get out of it because um yeah obviously i need more practice all righty this will be our last go before i actually have to do some body work to this thing i'm not using this hood so it doesn't really matter if it comes out or not um doing this one-handed pull that down get that slide on there a little bit more slid on and just the feetsies. Just the feetsies. Okay. Then you just go. Oh, that had a lot more. A lot more to it than the other one. Uh, you can still see a little bit of bend in the light there. But, um, you get this scraped off. Then, uh, really neat how that release stuff works then it doesn't Oops, 
All right, guys. It's definitely um, definitely an improvement. What I'd have to do there is take one of the knockdown tools and uh, tap this crest out of it. Okay, so uh, review on the Maddox Pantless Dent Repair. Okay, so little review on the Maddox. Um, Paintless dent repair kit. Uh, I gotta let the uh, glue gun cool down a little bit before I can actually put it away. Um, worth it? It's to be seen. Uh, it'd be. I could tell you a lot more if I was working on something that was a bit more flimsy. Something that was thinner metal. Um, you know, I'm sure it would work perfect for that because whenever I did that little dent on the hood I could tell that it did bite pretty well and if it was a thinner gauge of metal it should pop out just fine um, so yeah I can't really tell you if it's worth it or not but I could tell you I'm probably gonna use it again in the future um, I have a, it probably ain't the best one to use it on either, uh, 2012 Honda Accord, uh, has some hell damage on it, I figured I, I bought it for that, honestly, uh, figured if it worked, it worked, um, so, if this helped you in any way, shape, or form, or if you've seen something that I was doing wrong, because I, my first time doing it, um, I can, I know the first pull tab that I used, it did not stick very well. Um, shoot me a comment. Let me know if I did something wrong or if I was doing it perfectly fine. And, and then this is just crap. Um, if it's crap, I don't want to tell you, Hey, it's well worth it. I honestly don't know if it's worth a hundred and a quarter. Uh, yeah. Uh, if you liked it, leave me a thumbs up if you can. Um, yeah. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Peace.